Hello everyone, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Modded Minecraft. So today, we are starting things off exactly where we finished last time, in our machine area, but as you can see, it's looking a little bit pretty, you know? Nothing too fancy, it's still very vanilla, because in this mod pack that I've put together, there's no building mods, it's all just tech stuff. So, as far as building goes, it's all going to be very vanilla, and... To be quite honest, I'm not going to put that much effort in because the focus of this series is really to get to grips with the mods that I've added and not go too crazy on decoration and building and that kind of thing. So with that in mind, all I've done, I haven't moved these machines, I've just put these stairs in front, fancied up the floor and the ceiling and then I've at this side I've moved up down the metal edge confusers that we had on the surface. So let's have a quick look up there as well because I've changed a couple of things. So, I've got this little staircase coming up and I'm going to build something up here, but again, won't be too fancy. So, this is the first obvious thing. I've got this advanced fluid tank because I needed to make another crusher. And as we learned last time, we need two lava buckets for that. Instead of just going down all the time, what I did was craft up this fluid tank. So, I'll show you how I did that. And this is the second tier I've gone for. So, first, you need to craft the basic one, which is just iron and redstone. Nice and simple. And then the advanced one, we this is a lot of iron, so we need to use the infused alloys, iron ingots, and then the basic fluid tank. And that gives us a tank that will hold 28 buckets of whatever fluid you want. So obviously this one, I filled it up with lava, and then you can break that and place it wherever you want. So that's still got the lava in it, so that's 26 buckets in it. So I filled it up, and I brought it up here. Then up here, we also had the enrichment chamber, which I've moved just up there, because uh, what I wanted to do we we'll start processing some of this cobble because I've got a little bit too much cobble on me at the minute. I've been vain mining with this crazy atomic disassembler and I've almost filled up a gold chest. I've pretty much filled up my large backpack with tons of rubbish so I do need to get on with figuring out how I'm going to store this. But in the meantime what I did, I crafted another crusher and I've just put this into here so it's pulling in, turning this into gravel which is great so that's outputting that into there. And then what I can do after that's finished I can also put this through, I can put the gravel through a crusher and that'll turn into sand and then that can automatically get cooked into glass. So the reason I needed the glass was I've actually gone ahead between episodes and upgraded pretty much all of these machines. So the, as you can see this has got the 8 speed upgrades and the 8 energy upgrades. So you need glass, let's have a look at the recipe for these again just to remind ourselves. Uh, what am I doing? Upgrade. That's what I want. So it's, I've done these two, the energy and the speed. So they both use two glass, and they both use two infused alloys. And then whichever dust I'm using, so I've got osmium for the speed, gold for the energy, and I also did a few of the gas ones as well. So I needed the iron for that. So each of these machines takes 16 upgrades. So that's that's half a stack of iron per machine, which, which is a bit mad. Now. Considering I'm all tripling as well, let's just have a look at how much iron I've got left. So, I'm all tripling everything that I've been mining, and all I've got left after doing all those upgrades is 33 iron ingots. So, that's not good. That's something we need to fix today. So, down here, all of these machines as well, I think only one of the metal edge confusers is done. That one was the redstone, because I needed that to get the atomic alloys using the iron. But the rest of these, yeah, they don't have the upgrades in yet. So these two here, the upgrades, the, they're almost full. This one's on seven for speed, I think. I just did these to whatever would keep up to make sure that this ethylene was okay. And then in all of the all tripling setup, all of these, I think, are all up to eight, yeah. So all these have got the full upgrades in. So now, when I go mining, I can dump my stuff in that first chest and it gets processed really, really quickly and then output into the second one. And I am going to tidy up up here as well, so I don't have these chests just in the floor like this. They're going to go somewhere much better looking. But what I need to do today, definitely, is get on with automating the resource collection. So what I want to do is craft the digital miner. Now what this does, this is a big block that you just place in your world, and you tell it what you want out of the ground, and it will automatically mine it for you and just place it in its inventory which you can then pipe into a chest or into your old processing setup something like that so this is a really really handy block now it does use it does use a lot of power and it's quite a craft as well so first thing the atomic alloys these are pretty expensive the logistical sorters that's pretty easy the robot this is quite a craft as well because it's the atomic alloys 
and the refined obsidian ingots. The personal chest, that's that's alright. Refined obsidian ingots again. No, that's for that one. And then we've got the teleportation core, so more atomic alloys, and, it, and these take diamond as well. And then that's pretty much it. Still casing, we can do that alright. So I think, first up, I'm going to sleep, and then we'll get on with crafting this thing. Alright, so what we're going to do to make this a little bit easier to keep track of what's going on, we'll just craft up a chest and place it down here, that'll do. And then what we can do is just place in the parts that we've got done and then we can figure out what we need. So, first one, one that we've already got, basic control circuit. There we go, that's one of nine. Next, steel casing, we should be able to do that. So let's grab some steel, got four of those. And four glass, sorry. Yeah, and then we need one osmium as well. There we go, right, so steel casing. Another one, done. All right, put that in there at the bottom. Uh, now, what should we do next? Shall we do? Uh, they all need atomic allies, I think. So let's. Should we do the robot next? So how many energy tablets? I think. Right, I think we only need two energy tablets. So let's grab six gold. And uh, show some redstone over here as well. Let's just grab a stack, and then we'll do. Two of these? No, oh no. Right, I need to go do some of these alloys. So we'll do a few. I don't want to do too many. I probably should work it out because I want to got this 33 iron and I think it's going to be pretty tight that. So let's let's do 16 for now. So I need a few for the energy tablets, but I also need to change these into some of the atomic alloys as well. Okay, so now, now this machine's fully upgraded, this is going a lot quicker. There's nowhere near as much weight in around. So while we're down here, actually no, let's just craft these energy tablets first. All right, so I've got two of those. Oh, that's our done. All right, and then we we can actually do this now. So let's do. How many have we got? So we don't need any of these because we've crafted up everything. I think we need. Uh, don't need it for that. Uh, don't need it in there. No. Nope. So that's that's all of the basic alloys that we need so we can't actually turn these how much time do we got in there yeah that should that's enough so if we just put these into the mess legend fuser this isn't upgraded so this might take a little while but I can leave that there while I craft up the rest of this robot I think okay so what do we need for this uh, right personal chest we can do that oh we've got enough steel didn't know that was steel all right let's grab all that steel out of there uh, I've got Actually, we can do those as well. We'll do that next. Do the robot and personal chest. We need another chest. I need some glass. Okay. All right. All right. I can do a chest. I can. I've got enough Minecraft knowledge to do that. I think. All right. And where was it? Glass. Let's get some glass just in case. Uh, personal chest. Right, that's that one done. So the rest of it is just the the expensive stuff. So we can go do this as well. Once those are finished, we can put the refined obsidian into there as well. Oh no, actually, there's, they're in the osmium compressors, don't they? So we need to actually turn this into refined obsidian and then put that through the osmium compressor and then that's how we get these refined obsidian ingots. So yeah, let's just... Once these are finished, we'll put the obsidian in there. Uh, I'll just get another enriched diamond as well, so that thing isn't going to run out. So in our enrichment, enrichment chamber, we we'll just put a diamond in there. And then we've got our enriched diamond, so let's put that in here. Let's top that up a bit. Okay, and then let's just do a few of these. And then these can go in here. Okay, so I've just put the rest of my obsidian dust in here because there isn't actually any other use for this other than turning cobblestone into obsidian, which is pretty useless to me. So I'll put the rest of it in here and we can turn all, um, can use all of this at some point. And just waiting for these. And uh, we should have pretty much everything we need now to get, get this crafted. So just while I wait for those, I'll just go through some of the things I've done in the pack. So if you look at Willa. I've, you'll see that I've added the Wheeler Harvest ability. So up there it says currently harvestable, and that's pretty useless on a block. But if we go look at the wheat, 
it's, this is actually quite cool. This is a just a little add-on to Whale that is quite interesting. So there, it says growth, 43%. And there, mature, because that one is ready to harvest. So it's just it's just a cool little feature, but it, it also helps when you're mining as well, because it'll tell you if the tool you've got is effective for mining the ore that you're looking at. So for example, if you've got an iron pick and you, you look at obsidian, there'll be it won't have that green tick. It'll have like a little red cross. So you'll know from that that you need to get the next level of, of pickaxe. So it's just a cool little thing I've added. And the other thing, illnesses, I've got the sleeping bag back. Because I've updated the pack again, I've updated Forge, and I've updated all the mods to the latest version. There's a lot of them are still in beta, but they're all the latest version now. And I added the sleeping bag mod back in, and it's working. So that's it. That's all I've done to the pack. Everything as, as it was before, but I will update the list of mods in the description. So where are we? Uh, running out a little bit there, so I need to put some of that in. But obviously we'll put that through the enrichment chamber first. Right. So, let's see if we can craft anything. Oh no, wait, we need to put two in here, don't we? So let's put two of those in there. And we need some osmium as well. Let's just grab that. And what should we put? Let's put two in there. I think we need to get this one upgraded as well, but yeah. Actually, have, have I got any upgrades? Just kicking around. Yeah, I've got five speed upgrades out there. Let's put those in there. Okay, so I've got our two refined obsidian ingots. So we should be able to do a little bit more crafting now. So where's our digital miner? Okay, so we're doing the rub one we? Right, so that is that one done? Excellent. Right, so we can put that in our chest. To see what we've done. Right, so we've got three out of the nine done now. Okay, and we've got a couple more atomic alloys. So that's five. And what else do we need? Steel case. No, we did steel casing. What was the other thing? Logistical sorters. Right, we need so we need to craft up a couple of pistons. Now I actually get to use some of my cobblestone here. Not that. But, oh, hold on. right. Put that in there. Get rid of some of these blocks. Okay, so I need a little bit of cobblestone because I need to make some pistons. So I've got redstone, iron, and need a little bit of wood. Just a bit. Okay, so. We should know how to make pistons. I uh, should have everything I need there. All right, yeah, so we need just just two pistons. And then now we should be able to make the logistical sorters. So we need two of those. That's that. There we go. So now it is just the teleportation cords. Now these are a little bit expensive. But we should have everything we need. I get no lapis and gold. All right, we can do that. Not a problem. So two gold and four lapis, is that right? Oh no, that's just for one, isn't it? Right, so I've got one there. And yeah, I need another two gold and another four lapis. So let's do this, grab those, and teleportation core. There we go. Now we should have everything we need to make the digital miner. So let's do that. And uh, there it is. Now, this thing is absolutely awesome. Not just because of what it does, but how it looks as well. Look at it. It's amazing. Just a big, crazy machine that uses tons of power, but is well worth it. So, let's have a little sleep, and we'll get on with using this thing. Right, so let's get on with this. But, a couple of things first. I don't know if anyone noticed while I was crafting this, if the, but I only have one iron ingot left. Now, that was very, very lucky. But that is something. Now we've got the digital mana. That's something we definitely can address. Okay, and I did have another issue as well. I've just noticed the power was completely gone. But that's because this wasn't making ethylene. Now, oh, sorry, it wasn't receiving ethylene from the PRC because this chest was full. I only had a single chest up here, and this was full of substrate. So this had filled up in there. It had nowhere to go, so it couldn't produce the ethylene to put into the gas burn generator but that is done now and that is going up and i'm just dumping anything extra down here right so i think we can start using this now now i was thinking about putting a little room back here to put the digital miner in but it's the kind of thing that you tend to move around anyway so i think what i'm just going to do i'm going to put it up on the surface for now and then we're going to put some filters on it and it'll grab whatever we want it to so what's that do right i'll move this out of the way I can just put it along here, Kai. So we'll put 
that there for now. I move my bed as well. Uh, put this down here, send the spawn. And if we just put this here, that should receive power. So that's fully charged. And how's this doing? That's doing alright. So that's on full power. Now, this thing, very, very clever. When you open it up, you get this interface. Now, you can also put the upgrades in here as well. But again, that will use a hell of a lot of power. So, what we want to do first is click on config. And this is where you tell it. A, where you want it to mine, and then you can also filter what blocks you want to mine. So we're going to do this to the maximum we can do, which is 32 blocks away from your center. And then this is the Y coordinate of where you want to mine. So 0 to 60, that's fine. I think you can go up to the world limit, I believe. Uh, but I tend to leave it on this because this is like the normal mining height. Now, a filter. Sometimes I get a little bit confused with this, but what you can do, if you click on item stack, you can, if you have the block in your inventory that you want to mine, you can just put it in there and it will, that will set the filter. But because we don't have it on us at the moment, what we can do instead is use tag. Now what this is supposed to be is, it's supposed to be, you see that line there where it says Minecraft colon iron underscore or I believe it's looking at that. So it, if you type that in, that's what you should find. Now some of them, don't work. I've, I've had trouble with this in the past, but you can also use stars around these as well. So if we was to put diamond like that, that would filter to diamonds. And it's, you can see that it's brought up diamond ore and diamond blocks. So if there's any diamond blocks in the world, it'll, it'll harvest those and it'll do the same for diamond ore. At the moment, I don't want to do diamonds because I want to wait till I can use silt touch because this machine can do silt touch. There's just a little switch there that'll turn it silt touch, but that uses even more power so we don't want to do that yet so what we want to do is get iron first because that is the thing that we're really really low on so if we were doing tag and if we do star iron star and then click save you see that has come up with that so if we click back there and all we need to do is click start and it can tell us that there's 1883 where we've set it to mine so as you can see that's already coming through and if we just leave this machine sat here, this will just carry on mining and it will grab all of those blocks and put them in into this inventory. So what we can do from there is just take them and put them into our ore processing and I'll go through there and end up in this chest. So that is absolutely brilliant. Now we can also automate this as well. There are some slots here. So the one on the back, if we put a chest there, uh, in fact, let's do that out. I've got a chest. So if we just put that on there, I think we need to set this to auto-eject as well. Where is it? Auto-eject, yeah. Turn that to on, and then everything gets put into here. So we can just grab this, and put it straight into there. Excellent. So yeah, you can see, that iron is already coming through. So that's brilliant. Job done. And the power seems to be alright. So maybe I could put some upgrades in this actually. I might be generating enough power to do this. But I think for now, we'll just leave it running for a bit because we definitely need some more of those alloys, which obviously eats, eats through the iron. So we'll leave that running. And I think what I want to do next is get on with organizing some of this junk over here. So I'm not just going through chests all the time. Okay, so I've had a little bit of a tidy up in here. I've uh, put in a bit of a floor so we're not stepping down on, on this mycelium all the time. And starting to get a feel for what's going to be going on in this area. So... What I, want, what I said I want to do now is work on some of the storage. And to do that, I'm going to use one of my favorite mods ever, and that's storage drawers. Uh, let's do that. Right, so these things are amazing. So they're just one block that hold a massive amount of a single item. Uh, what you can do is have a wall of them, and then you can just store all your items individually, but then you can also see visually what's in there as well without having to go through loads of chests and open things. So let's do this now. Let's craft a few chests because you need a chest for each one. And then we'll craft some more wood. And the recipe for this, you can do this for all wood types as well, so it's specific to the wood. So if we just go like this, you've got a chest and then planks across the top and the bottom. And that gives you the one by one version. And this is the one that holds the most. So the basic version holds 32 stacks, which is pretty good. So let's just put these down. Now what I want to do is leave the middle one. We'll leave that 
another time. Because what I want to do is put a draw controller in there, for those of you know what I'm going to be talking about here. But if not, don't worry, I will explain that in a second. So if we just put these along here, and all we can do, with our cobble, if we just double click on it. Now, I haven't got a lot on this at the moment, but this is probably going to fill up really quickly. So let's just grab a bit of this out here. And all we do is just right click or double right click on this and it'll put everything that you've got in your inventory into there. Now we can't see what's in it at the moment, but that's not a problem. We are going to fix that. So let's just craft up a few more of these and get this wall finished. Right, so if we just do it, yeah, let's do that. A bit more wood and then finally the drawers. So I've got 26 there, that's, that's all right. Don't think I'm going to need this many at the moment. And this is a new thing as well. If, if anyone's played in the older version of storage drawers, you've always had to f put them down on a block. And if you put it on the side, they'd end up facing that way. But that's changed now, so it works as you'd expect. Then not explain as well. This is another little thing I did is I rewired where those chests were. So this is now my input chest. So when I go back mining, or if I've been... Like they saw, they just look at this already. Got so much. Now, if I put those into here, those will go down into my all tripling setup, and then once finished, they'll end up in this chest. So look at look at all this iron already. This is great. Remember, I was down to one ingot when I crafted this, but now we're doing all right, Brian. This is brilliant. Right. So what I want to do first, I need some sticks, and I'm going to make a storage upgrade template. That's it. Just no, it's called an upgrade template. So all you do is take one of your drawers. And surround it by sticks, and that gives you the upgrade template. Now, these things are very cool. What you can do with these is craft these things here. So we're starting on the storage upgrade too. What this does is takes that 32 stacks and times it by four when you are dying. Now, if we just shift right click on one of these, you can have this many upgrades in it. So you can have quite a lot, and you can increase the capacity of these drawers by so much. It is unbelievable. These can store an absolute ton of stuff. So that is what we're going to do now. So if we take some gold, we'll use this. I'm not going to do the keys right now because I haven't got everything I need for the numerator key. But what, what we're going to do, we're going to craft up these gold ones. So if we just, all you need is the upgrade template and then two of whichever level you're doing. So you can use diamond, emerald, gold, or iron. Now emerald is the best one, iron's the worst, gold's somewhere in between. But don't really have tons of diamonds at the minute, so I'm going to go for the gold ones, and we can upgrade them at a later time. So let's just, yeah, how many can we do? Let's let's do three of the gold ones, and we'll put all those in here. Now we should be able to fit quite a lot of cobble in here now, so let's just start dumping this into here. Now unfortunately it doesn't tell us what's on there at the minute, but what I can craft is a numerator key, and that what that does, when you click on it with the numerator key, it will show you how many is in it, and it, it's it's not, you don't have to click on it every time, it'll just show the number on there all of the time, how many is in there. So, I am going to I am gonna do that very soon, but I, what I need to do, I need to, let's just, let's just have a look, actually. So this is the draw key that locks the draw, so, not, so it'll always contain the same item, even if you take all of them out. And then the, quant, sorry, the quantify key, it's not a numerator key. What we need for that is a book and quill. So, we do need a feather, unfortunately, for that, so I'm going to need to kill some chickens, I don't think I've done that at any point yet. Definitely, definitely no feathers anywhere. So we'll get that done, and I will get that new key. I just cut did it again, didn't I? It's a quantify key. We'll get that quantify key in. But for now, let's. Just, I'm just gonna dump as much cobble as I can in here, and maybe organize some more of this stuff into these drawers, and we'll have a look in a sec. Okay, so I've got all those in, and I've moved everything, emptied out my backpack, and I've also emptied all the cobble that was in there. So it's amazing how how much these things can actually hold. So if we shift right click on it, I didn't mention this earlier, we can actually see how many is in there. So I've got 10,400 blocks of cobblestone, just with three storage upgrades, and it, and it can hold a lot more than that. And then I've just put a few more things in here, stuff that I know we're gonna have a lot of eventually. So at the minute, only 60 blocks of obsidian, but th that will grow. And then a bit of glass as well, and just the usual culprits. So over here, a few more things left to sort. This is all just, Junk that probably won't go anywhere. Actually, sand. We can do one with sand, and we'll probably do a gravel as well. Uh, don't think I've got any gravel though, because I turned it all into sand and then into glass. But yeah, we'll, we'll we'll put gravel in there as well. Now, for the rest of it, I've got all this stuff in here. Now, this can actually go in another type of drawer, and that is the compacting drawer. 
which will make, out of the normal draws, stone, pistons, and a bit more iron. But obviously that's not a problem anymore. And I've crafted up the pistons already, and I'm just cooking up a bit of stone. So we should ha have what we need to do this now. So we'll grab a bit of iron out of here. <laughs> Look at all of this. Crazy. All right. And if we just take out the ones on this side, all I'm going to do is turn some, if not all of these, into compacting drawers. And then everything that comes out of here can go into the compacting drawers. What they do is store things simultaneously as ingots, nuggets, and blocks, if they can be crafted into all of those things. So rather than you grabbing ingots and then crafting them into what you need, you can just pick out of the compacting drawer whichever version you need. So let's craft up some of these compacting drawers now, and I'll show you what I'm talking about if that wasn't clear. So if just put some of these down. Right, we're going to leave, remember, leave the middle one. And I'll just put a few of these down here. Now, oh, that should be enough for now. Oh, this, I've only got two. Let's just put those down. And then if we take out all the iron, and I'll put it in this one here, you can see it's actually it hasn't put all of that in. Let's put all of it in there. So you can see we've got 1,478 fingers. But that is also 164 blocks. So what we can do is if we take out one block, it updates each of these counts. Which is absolutely I love these things that are absolutely brilliant. So what we will what we could do is change this pipe to go into the back of these, into the relevant one. But that's not a great way of doing it. What we actually need is a draw controller. So if we put that in here, that pipe can then go into the back of that and then it'll automatically put them into the correct draw. So what I'm going to do for now, I'm just going to put these in manually because what we need for the draw controller is quartz. We need to make two comparators, but obviously for that we need quartz. Ah, we haven't been to the nether yet. So I'm just going to put these in there manually now. Okay, so I've got that chest emptied out. And what I've actually done is moved it up here and you can see that the logistical transporter is putting all the iron straight into this one. And just for reference, you can actually put these under a drawer and this will open. So I didn't know that, I've just found that out. So, I've put all of these in here manually, so if shift right, no, with empty hand, shift right click, you can see what I've got in here. Now obviously this will be easier once I've got the numbers displayed on the drawers themselves. Right, so those are all the ores that we're producing at the moment, but this isn't just for ores. So we have a few more things in here that can also be stored in different states. So we've got redstone, lapis, coal, and diamonds. So we can put all of these in here as well. So if we put redstone in. And double right click on those, that'll put those in there. And the coal, that can be stored in both states as well. The diamonds. And then the lapis. And then the last vanilla one, I suppose, is the emeralds, but we haven't got any emeralds yet, so we'll put those in there. So that is all of that storage done. So the crucial thing is the draw control. That that turns these things into manual things like this into something that's automated as well. Which is absolutely brilliant. But we are going to have to wait till next time to do that, because unfortunately, it is our time again. We have run out of time for this episode. So, if you enjoyed it, please do leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>